so Katish, for someone who's listening and they're like, oh my gosh, you know, this makes so much sense. Like I've been trying all the things and it's not working. What is something they can do to start kind of diving into this past life? Oh. <clears throat> so one is just to recognize that and give yourself credit for doing the work, right? And then ask yourself, am I, am I ready to dive into past life work? Really simple way to start off, and it's the way I started off, is start going to the library and pick a couple of free books that are about reincarnation and past lives. Just read the stories. And you will know if it resonates with you because you read it and you, won't, you want to read the next one and the next one and the next one. Go where your passion and your interests are because we learn and gain insights just from reading about other people's stories. Um, you can listen to my podcast, which is called the Infinite Life Podcast. And every week we show car- showcase uh, stories about the eternal mind stream with real clients. You can watch and you can listen. The reason that I made it a dual podcast is so that people could see for themselves. Because with, with uh, anything to do with the eternal mind stream, you're like, I can't believe it until I see it. But you've got to, you have to believe it. So you, you can watch or listen to see the process. And it's really kind of confronting your fears. What will I discover? Is there something terrible there? Am I a terrible person? And I can't help you with that. That's something you have to navigate yourself. But I can give you examples of how I've navigated that. And that's why I also include my personal sessions in the podcast. You will see me confront so far because it's my healing journey because the healer has to do their own work, right? And I open the door right? And I say, this is my experience. And the reason I want to show you is because I want to show you what I had to confront to heal. And the layer of sharing then opens up another level of healing for me, I've, I've discovered. You can see my worst nightmare come to play on screen. And then you can see that I have gone past it. And I have made friends with that particular memory. And most importantly, you know, I could write a book on each each session that I've done on myself, because each one explains some of the things I like and dislike in this lifetime and why, why I feel that way. And it's really interesting to go, oh, okay. So that personality, that person I was in that lifetime felt that way. And this is how it shows up in me. Now I know it is part of my soul's thoughts, but it's not Katish Haberfield. It's making up a name. It's Jamie of that lifetime. Jamie, I'm going to let you have that thought. You keep that, but I don't need to own that. This is my life, and I love you very much because you and I are the same person, but I'm going to release that now. I'm going to, and more than that, I'm going to help you with that because I'm going to do some work at the soul level so that you no longer have that as well. I'm going to help you heal that. So one of the things that, you know, mindfulness teaches us is to, to understand when a thought is our own and when it's not our own. And so that's a beautiful thing to understand that thoughts are just energy that swirl around us. And so we know with mindfulness and meditation and and yoga that we need to identify when it's our thought versus group thought versus community thought, country thought, global thought. Do you know what I mean? Because it's just energy streams that swirl around, okay? And it's you picking it up and identifying with it and making it your own. So what I'm teaching is it's the next level. Sure, there's all of those thoughts you need to contend with, but there's also the thoughts of your other personalities, your other avatars, your other selves. And when you gain the understanding of who you've been, who you are in other lifetimes, you gain ultimate freedom because you can say, oh, that makes sense now. And you can have compassion for yourself. That's what it's all about. It's about self-compassion and say, oh, my God, I'm so sorry you went through that. Or, wow, that's an amazing thing to have gone through. Fist pump to you. But you can be gaining insight into yourself and have self-compassion it's the self-compassion to not hate yourself and to be proud of the journey that you've gone through no matter who you were because each of these lifetimes is being designed specifically for you to help you and to discover who you are and to remember who you are so everybody has a good lifetime and a bad lifetime you have to understand to be the richest person in the world you also have to be the poorest person in the world to be the most beautiful show thing beauty queen you have to be hideously disfigured to be a peace protester you have to be in the army it's balancing your soul has to do it all that's powerful 
Yeah. So I can't remember the original question, but I hope that answered it. I don't remember the original question either. 